again everybody. Uh, my next instructional video is how to do a drawing uh, of a character, uh, say walking down the street, but from two different points of views. The, what I mean by that is uh, the character is walking down the street uh, to the left and you draw what is be uh, in front of him or behind him uh, for example, the first drawing uh, has, uh, the, for the point of view, is looking across the street to a uh, wooden fence uh, and then some uh, landscape in the background. And uh, as you can see, I'm putting in my uh, permanent Sharpie marker um, for all the lines. Uh, I did a pencil drawing uh, ahead of time. I always do that and then I put my Sharpie marker on top of that because I'm going to be doing a, a, a watercolor um, on top of the Sharpie marker. So that would be ink and wash. So uh, make sure you put in all your highlights, a little bit of light and shadow uh, to have everything pop out a little bit. So for the second point of view, it is uh, the point of view from uh, across the street uh, looking towards a brick wall. Uh, so when I say two different points of views, it is what's in front of the character and what is behind the character. So it's a really good exercise on uh, trying to get a really good uh, sense of space around your character. And it sort of looks like a mirror image when you uh, put two uh, drawings together. So right now I'm just putting in the detail of the brick wall and his uh, clothing, his backpack, that sort of thing. So now I'm putting in the color. Uh, the brick wall obviously uh, is red brick, but feel free to put in blues and grays. Uh, and darker reds. Uh, it'll make everything really nice and textured uh, and will uh, stand out uh, as a really good solid background to make sure that the people uh, stand out in front of the brick wall uh, as, uh, as well as the garbage can, uh, the bus stop, and the bench. So right now I'm just blending uh, my reds, my blues, uh, just to have a, a really nice textured background for the red brick wall. So now I'm putting in the cement backing, uh, which is at the bottom of the wall as the footer uh, for the wall, uh, which uh, will have a nice little contrast uh, in terms of color from the uh, red brick above it. So make sure uh, you experiment uh, with your grays uh, and your blues. They tend to really blend well together. Now I'm putting in some uh, floor uh, for the sidewalk, um, some lighter grays, and make sure you put in that light and shadow uh, below your character, below the park bench uh, or the bus stop, um, and then the browns uh, for the trash can, uh, which will make it really stand out um, in front of the grays and the reds uh, of the brick wall. Now I'm putting in uh, the character's clothing. I'm just putting in uh, some blue jeans, um, some blonde hair, uh, and keeping his t-shirt white. So that's a one point of view uh, for my character walking down the street. And for the second point of view, He's going to be, um, so across the street uh, in this drawing is a wooden fence, um, probably uh, from a backyard. And I'm just going to put in a simple uh, sky in the background, uh, some grays, some blues, that sort of thing. So the same thing as the, uh, the brick wall, uh, the wood uh, definitely has a really nice texture to it. Make sure you experiment with uh, blues always uh, create a really nice texture for wood um, and has a lot of um, darks, uh, lights, and it makes everything just stand out really well. So putting in the grays of the street, uh, lights and shadows uh, for the sidewalk, 
uh, which will give dimension uh, to your props uh, that are in uh, your street. So now a little bit of sky, and it really can be very, very rough just to give that illustration of what the sky is going to be like. And again, uh, I did my painting of both of these drawings at the same time, so to make sure that I copy the colors that I used. Uh, so I'm consistent in his clothing, uh, and consistent with the park bench uh, and the garbage. So uh, when you put the two uh, drawings together, they sort of look very, very similar.